When you combine history, elegance, luxury, childhood wonder, and lavishness, the only possible thing you can get is a castle. Forget the modern day mansions and penthouses. Let's dive back into history and check out castles that represent true power, grandeur, and wealth spread across hundreds of years. Here's inside the most expensive castles in the world. Brand Castle, $80 million. Perhaps the most famous castle of them all, the Brand Castle is commonly referred to as Dracula's Castle in the iconic 1897 Dracula novel by Bram Stoker. And even though that is a thing of fantasy, its legendary status has helped make the castle worth $80 million. The construction of Brand Castle started in 1377 and was completed in 1382. The castle is perched upon a 200-foot-high rock and towers above miles of luscious Romanian forests while exuding Gothic charm. There are 57 rooms in total and there are a countless number of hidden passageways and secrets lurking within. Housed inside the castle are an abundance of weaponry, furniture and armour that dates back from the 14th to the 19th centuries. The actual interior is gorgeous, containing original features such as arched Gothic windows and doorways, turrets, spires, and original brickwork. Throughout the spacious castle, hand-carved and intricate fixtures adorn the walls and ceilings. Large metal doorknobs clang and the old dark wood floors creak while being bathed in the light of Romanian lanterns and candles. Having been home to the Romanian royal family till 1948, you can see King Ferdinand's dining room where the original beams are still visible across the ceiling, along with his restored bedroom. There's even a supposedly haunted dungeon that once held Vlad the Impaler in the 1400s for his gruesome deeds. The Gothic home of Dracula, or, well, the former home of Queen Marie of Romania, is now a national monument and landmark in Romania and has over 500,000 visitors annually. Zinkovi Castle, $30 million The Zinkovi Castle is one of the largest privately owned castles in the Czech Republic. The castle has a unique history, having been constructed sometime in the 12th century. Throughout its time, the chateau was owned by many Czech nobles or famous dynasties, each redesigning it in their own unique way. The palace boasts 60 rooms with numerous solid oak libraries, function rooms and servant quarters. It was designed with neoclassical architecture with wood flooring, hand-painted ceilings, and leaded windows. Among the walls of the historical estate is pastel artwork and chandeliers hanging everywhere, adding to its historic value. But the castle isn't all there is to the property, if you get what I mean, because on this estate, which is thousands upon thousands of square feet, lies dozens of other buildings. Its grounds include a reconstructed administrative building with a restaurant, a conference room, a reception area, office space, and several apartments making the castle more like a miniature Czech village. Also scattered upon the grounds are 12 bungalows which have been refurbished to accommodate guests, but that won't be necessary given how ostentatiously large it already is. And while you're exploring this fairy tale castle, don't forget about the magnificent views of the neighboring pond and the well-maintained English-style forest park, making adventuring a must in the Zinkovi Castle. Pelish Castle is a neo-Renaissance and Gothic revival castle in the Carpathian Mountains, built between 1873 and 1914 for King Carol of Romania. Yes, we have another Romanian castle built for the Romanian royal family, but this time used exclusively as a summer home. The castle has a 34,000 square foot floor plan with 168 lavish rooms, many with dedicated themes from different European cultures. The interior decoration is mostly Baroque influenced, with heavy carved woods and exquisite fabrics layered throughout the house. Over 2,000 exquisite pieces of European art hang from the Cordoba leather covered walls, with Maruno crystal chandeliers hanging from the mahogany ceilings and German stained glass windows reflecting natural light from the forest it surrounds. The most famous room within the castle is the Grand Armory Room where 4,000 pieces of armory and weaponry dating between the 14th and 19th century are showcased, making it one of Europe's finest collections of hunting and war memorabilia. The gardens of the castle boast seven terraces decorated with stone statues of past Romanian monarchs, fountains, marble paths, and ornamental pots. There's even statues of lions acting as guards to the castle, adding another fable-esque touch to the castle. Siena Castle, $25 million. Located in the province of Siena in the Italian countryside of Tuscany and tucked away from the most visited spots of Italy, lies one of the only medieval castles in all of Italy, having been built in the 12th century for the Piccolominis, a prominent Italian noble family. 
The stunning building occupies a total area of 154,000 square feet, including 115 rooms and 100 bathrooms. The style is that of a traditional medieval Tuscan castle with an interior embellished with exquisite marble floors and frescoed ceilings, which add a very romantic and fairy tale dimension to the place. Despite some of the castle having gone through renovations, much of it remains medieval in architectural style with ornate timbers, elaborately painted ceilings, and marble floors keeping the identity true to itself. There's over 1,500 acres of grounds to the castle, making deer, wild boar, and several other species a recurring guest around the home, with over 1,500 olive trees, vineyards, and grain fields. The castle also has four swimming pools, a tennis court, and two lakes as a way to offer entertainment in the beautiful Italian landscape. There's even a restaurant on the estate, where wines made from the grapes in its vineyards are served alongside food farmed from the grounds, making it even a potentially profitable investment. Chateau de Chambord, $300 million. You might have seen this chateau before, or maybe it looks similar. This happens to be the most recognizable chateau in the world due to its very distinctive French Renaissance architecture, which blends traditional French medieval style with classical Renaissance structures. It was built between 1519 and 1547, originally as a hunting lodge for King Francis of France, with the legendary Leonardo da Vinci apparently being involved and influencing the design. And it certainly turned out amazing because, well, just look at it. The soft white stone layout is reminiscent of a typical castle with a keep, corner towers, towering spires, and being defended by a moat. 426 rooms, 282 fireplaces, and 83 staircases are laid out over an area of 200,000 square feet. The chateau's interior is decorated in an Italian classical style, having been influenced by the influx of Italian culture during the time period it was built. Throughout Chambord, a salamander is represented more than 300 times on the ceilings and walls, having been the emblem of the King of France. Along with the salamander artwork is over 4,500 pieces of art displayed marvelously through refurbished apartments. One of the architectural highlights of the castle is the spectacular open double spiral staircase that is the centerpiece of the chateau. Personally designed by da Vinci, the two spirals ascend the three floors without ever meeting made to make sure that the king never met with the servants on the stairs. The highest point of the stairs leads you to a glass ceiling, which provides an entrance to the roof pavilion. And from the roof, you can see 11 kinds of towers and three types of chimneys framed at each corner, giving the castle one of the most recognizable roofs in the world. Outside, the chateau is surrounded by a 13,000 acre wooded park and game reserve maintained with red deer, enclosed by a 19 mile wall. Yeah, it's the largest enclosed park in Europe. 600 trees and 15,250 plants among many bushes fill the borders, plus an immense 203,000 square foot of lawns were replanted in an almost $4 million garden renovation a couple years ago. Seaton Castle, $10 million. The United Kingdom is famous for having some of the most elegant castles around the world, and it's no surprise one of them has made our list. Located in East Lothian, Scotland, Seaton Castle is an 18th century Georgian style castle spanning more than 18,000 square feet and was the preferred residence of Mary, the Queen of Scots. Inside is a beautiful Georgian interior imbued with designer materials and fittings such as embroidered silks, Scottish wools and cashmere, adding exquisite and warm touches to every corner. There's also plaster work on the ceiling, curved oak paneled doors, and dramatic bay windowed rooms giving the castle its medieval and historical aura. There are seven bedrooms inside the home, elegantly styled in a mixture of a rustic and mythical style. The reception hall has Corinthian pillars and a stone staircase, left virtually untouched since the 1800s. A silk draped dining room with original wood burning fireplaces, complemented by the castle's 17th century French oak flooring, creates a warm and inviting appeal. Over the last decade, the previous owners of Seton Castle completed a major renovation project partly modernizing the estate, including the installation of a full security system, heating system, entertainment system, creation of a state-of-the-art gym, and even a helipad. Although there are only seven bedrooms in the castle itself, there are three standalone guest cottages elsewhere on the 14-acre estate, bringing the total number of bedrooms to 13. Elsewhere outside the castle but within the estate is a working stable and a private tavern styled after a traditional Scottish pub. The grounds of the castle contain a historical 15th century carriage bridge, formal lawns and wildflower meadows, giving it a very classy Scottish-esque design. And that is all we have for you today on the most expensive castles in the world. 
Which would you stay in if given the choice? Let us know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.